Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to divide mixed numbers using a constructivist approach. Now, you may have known that a constructivist approach often uses individual experiences and also a lot of collaborative learning. And what that pretty much means is that the concepts, math or otherwise, are, you, are talked about where students, classmates, friends, they learn math together and they often teach the concepts to each other to help each other understand it better, as opposed to, to the traditional lecture. So sometimes an approach with constructivist approaches uses modeling. So when it, let's do an example. Suppose you want to do three divided by one half power using a potential scenario. So one thing that you can use with modeling and constructivist approach is you can draw, for example, three circles. And since you know you're divide, dividing by one and a half, you're actually using halves to uh, get there. So we have a lot of half circles. And basically, with one and a half, you're talking about three halves. So basically, we're going to section off each group of three halves. So you have one half, two halves, three halves. That's going to be one group. And then this half, second half, third halves. This will be a second group. So what that kind of tells you here is how many groups of one and a half do you have? You have one and you have two. That's the t grand total. Constructivist approaches often use as models and collaborative learning as opposed to the traditional lecture. So if I was doing it traditionally, this would be the straight way to do it. But if I was to do it in a more modeling approach, a more constructivist approach, I would use visuals and other models to help students understand it a little bit better. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief illustration on how to divide mixed numbers using a constructivist approach.